If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to showcase all the new armor seen in Bungie's latest Age of Triumph stream and if you guys haven't seen them yet, brace yourselves as they look fucking incredible. So let's get into this shit. The first armor we're going to check out is the new water glass armor. Seen on screen now are some of Bungie's concept arts of the actual armor looking great. Starting with the Hunter, obviously, Hunter Master Race. As I speculated, the glowing cloak was from the water glass. Notice the leg as well, epic looking, this being an ornament. Like what we see on the warlock as well, seen on screen, he also has Vex legs, fucking amazing. The warlock also has these badass looking tentacles. Super jelly, I'm not gonna lie, me being, well, Hunter being my main. Next up we see the Titan in his new water glass gear and straight away you will notice the shield on his back. Fucking incredible. The Vexified armor on these armors are ornaments. Now ornaments which can be applied to these red armors exclusively drop from raids featured in the weekly rituals playlist. If the raid you are playing is not a featured raid, you will not get an ornament token drop which you can use on this new gear. Another interesting thing to mention is raid ornament tokens you obtain can be used on armor from any raid which ornaments can be applied to. So if you have a red ornament token drop in the Vault of Glass when it's the featured raid in the weekly ritual playlist, you can use that red ornament token on your Crotus End, Wrath of the Machine or King's Fall raid gear if that's what you want to do. So raid tokens can be used on any raid gear. It's as simple as that, which is a great thing in my opinion. Okay, so the next red armor we're going to check out is the Crotus End red gear, seen on screen now with this concept image. And fuck, does it look absolutely amazing. And the in-game armor doesn't disappoint either compared to the concepts you see on screen. The glowing spiky lighty thingy things are absolutely amazing. But it's actually an energy attached to your armor which protects you for a split second when you take damage. When you actually get hit you see the arm recover by a kind of glowing back with these floating rocks and shit, <laughs> absolutely badass. All three armors do look incredible, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably my favorite we've seen so far with the Age of Triumph. I cannot wait to start grinding for it. The next armor we're going to check out is the King's Fall armor. On screen now we see a concept of armor obtainable in game. Now this armor as you can see on screen, it also has energy attached to it, but it isn't as apparent as that crow as Engia. The energy on this one glows blue instead of the green, what we do see on that crow as Engia. It acts in the same fashion though. When you get damaged, the energy goes then reappears. Add armors we do see here, for sure and not a biased opinion, but I do think the Hunter's armor looks the best, which is a change because Hunters never get the best armor. I ain't sure and never have been on that Titan helmet, it just looks fuggly as fuck. Warlock on the other hand though looks absolutely epic and I cannot wait to get my hands on this shit come the 28th of March, which is next Tuesday. Next up we have the Wrath of the Machine armor, seen on screen now we have a concept image looking badass. This armor is like a natural progression of the armor we already know, but notice how the armor looks to be shredding that Seaver energy. Liking this, I'm not gonna lie, in my opinion it doesn't look as good as the Crow's Engia, but I do love the mechanics of these new armors. It's kind of like the Seaver energy is trying to tear through your skin and armor, fucking amazing. Don't forget though, this armor will have two ornament slots. Okay, so next up we're going to take a look at the new Age of Triumph armor set. 
On screen now we see concept art of the armor. Comparing to what we've already seen leaves me feeling a little sick as it does look kind of basic but hey this is what a lot of people like and I don't like that over the top craziness which is fine. This armor is available exclusively from Treasures of the Age packages which you can either earn in game or buy for silver via Tess Eververse. You can obtain 3 per week across all 3 of your characters. This Age of Triumph armor is the only armor that comes with Age of Triumph which can have chroma on it. Interestingly, unlike many other chroma armors, with this gear it makes the logo glow in whatever colour you like. Also chroma is available to be applied to your class items which is a pretty rare thing within Destiny and I think pretty fucking cool. Ok guys so armor wise that is all we saw from the stream, some amazing shit to grind for coming the 28th of March which I cannot wait for. Now if you guys did enjoy the video leaving a like is much appreciated, subscribe if you are new around here, turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you guys on that next one.